Okay, it's Clay Trader at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video. Market's actually already opened. It's nine not. It's now 9:33. Uh, I was doing another video actually for uh, my premium uh, members right at the open, so that's why I couldn't capture the exact open. But I finished that one up. So now let's see what happens. Had an order out there on CAT uh, for the dead cat bounce. So um, you know, I may uh, I alerted this in the chat room as a dead cat bounce, um, but I was a little late to it. Um, but nonetheless, and this doesn't really uh, necessarily count. This is a, an, an options trade that I did uh, that I covered this morning. So that's what I was actually doing uh, with Nike, an earnings play. But I uh, just want to focus this more on stock. So I'll keep searching. I'll let you know what I find. All right, I have a couple fishing lines in the water, uh, F-I-N-L and C-R-U-S. So we'll, right at this point, I'm just looking for some nibbles. All right, well, I haven't ordered a short. And this is the same one that you saw before, uh, but it's now finally getting up to potentially breaking through uh, 30. So I'm hoping for a, a big move up above there where it can fill me there, but one step at a time first has got to get through the round number of 30. So I'll keep you updated on that one. Still have my F-I-N-L uh, fishing line out there too. So I'm searching. All right, so it broke. Let's see if we can get up there to 25. absolutely love an order if it wants to give me some up at 25 let's see if it can do that there we go nice let's see if I can get some more shares up at 50 also got to get my orders out there to start to cover some so we'll go at 10 and 7 but yeah okay good I'm feeling good about this Got those at 50, perfect. So I'm just scattering some more buy orders out there in case it pulls back. But I will certainly look to build some more uh, size. Average is at 30, 37. So let's see what happens here. Okay, I got some out there. So now I have 300 left. Putting some more out there at those levels. Still, I'm willing to get some more, but uh, you know, I got to not going to do any right now. I got to see what it wants to do. I'm trying to break down through that 3940 area, but that's certainly being pretty stubborn. So it's just sort of a waiting game right now. I'm going to take 100 off at 40. Oh, there we go. So I may be looking like I can get some more shares. Excellent. Put some more up there at 3079. See if it wants to give me 500 more shares up there. And now it's just kind of stalling. I guess I'll let this continue to run. So let's see if it can break through 40 here finally. I 
I mean, you can see 40 is really being kind of quite stubborn here for the chart. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause it, and if it looks like it's going to break through that 40, I'll get it going again, or if it looks like it's going to get up to the 79. All right, it got through that, and now I got a couple more shares covered. Okay, I got some more out at those levels, so, okay, I have 391 shares. I have 291 shares. So I'm just going to put a stop in now. Okay, I'll bring these down to 30, 31 and buy those back at anything above 30, 32. So I'll just let this one work for me now. So I'm going to move that down to 22 for the final 291 shares. Move this down to 12. Okay, and got out at 30, 16. And now I apparently have 100 shares long at 3016 so I'm just gonna sell those and take a little loss so what did I make $94 so yeah it didn't quite work out um, maybe got a little too aggressive with my stop loss there but um, you know it's pulling back I actually may look to go long and in fact I'm gonna alert this in the chat room because it is pulling back within a bullish overall context so there that alert is made so uh, yeah and as I typed it up, maybe I just missed my own little alert there, but that's all right. That's all right. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to keep looking. I have another order out to short CRUS. So um, hopefully some people, in the, and just, I don't know, I guess the, the things can be kind of sketchy. But So I'll just confirm real quick. So if you're wondering, hey, how does the chat room work? Well, there it is right there. Pulling back within a Bull River two minute. So that was at 947 right when I said I was typing it. So you can see right there, that's uh, kind of how the chat room works. So hopefully some members were able to actually take advantage of that pullback. But now I am looking to potentially short any sort of overextended move. And we'll see what happens with it. So 3135 is my first entry point. I'll keep you up to date. Okay, it's making another move again. I moved my order to 3146. So I don't know if it's going to get up that high or not. But that's where I feel comfortable uh, starting my initial entry point. So we'll see if it can get up there. All right, I'm going to wrap things up, but before I go, one of the most common questions I get, especially when people are watching these live trade videos, hey, how are you finding these stocks to trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about all the tools that I'm using to, to find these setups You know that I obviously think have profitable potential. Um, so if that sounds like something that could add some value to you as a trader, then go ahead and click right there and I will email you the guide. It's a one-page document, so it's not like you have to read through multiple chapters or anything like that. It's very time efficient and something that's got a good risk versus reward. I mean, the risk is nothing. I mean, if you get zero value out of it, well, it's not like you paid any money for it. But if it really helps you out, then hey, you know, there could be a lot of upside. So like I said, if you think that could add some value to you, then go ahead, click right there. I'll email it to you. Thank you for watching. Everybody have a great weekend.